Play TV is an easy way for you to watch, pause or record live free view digital television from your PlayStation 3. The first thing you're going to need to do is insert the DVD that comes with the Play TV. Once the disc is inserted into your PlayStation 3, your PlayStation 3 will automatically try and read the contents of the disc. You are now presented with a warning that tells you not to turn off your PlayStation 3 while the Play TV is being installed onto your PlayStation. When you click OK, a video is displayed on your PlayStation that gives you some of the key features that you can expect to see on your Play TV. While you're watching the video, Play TV is installed onto your PlayStation 3. Unfortunately, you cannot stop or fast forward the video. It's also worth noting that you should not remove the disc while the software for the Play TV is installed. Once the video has finished, you'll be prompted to either watch the video again, or as I'm going to do, choose no, and instead watch the installation progress bar. You will then be prompted to launch Play TV. The Play TV logo appears, and then you'll be prompted to complete 10 steps. First we need to choose the language we're going to use, in this case I'm choosing English. You now need to follow 10 steps to complete the setup of your Play TV. The first thing we need to do is choose our geographic location, in this case it's United Kingdom. The next thing we need to do is to connect the aerial to the Play TV. Once we've connected the aerial to the Play TV, we then need to connect the USB lead to the Play TV and then connect the other end of the USB lead to the PlayStation 3. The next step is to get your Play TV to automatically detect the channels that are available to you. Please note that this process can take between 2 and 5 minutes to complete. It's also worth noting that the quality of the image that you'll see on your PlayStation 3 will be determined by the signal strength that you're receiving from your television aerial. Once the scan is completed, it will show you the total number of television channels that you're able to receive and the total number of radio and other channels that you can receive. If you feel the need, you can rescan or you can click continue. You will now be asked whether you want to record television programs while you're playing video games. It is worth noting that if you're recording a television program and playing a video game at the same time, the quality of the recording and the gameplay within the video game may not necessarily be as good as it should be. The final step is to restart the system. When the PlayStation 3 restarts and signs in, you need to navigate to television and video services and then down to Play TV. When you click on this option, it will load Play TV for the first time. Now the first thing you should check is to make sure that there are no updates available. As you can see on my screen, there is an update available for me to install. So I need to use the carousel menu to locate the option called settings. From settings, I need to scroll down through the list until I locate the option called About. Within About, there is an option called Game Update Check. If we click on this, the PlayStation 3 will connect to the internet and download the latest version of the Play TV software. If we click OK, the software is downloaded to our PlayStation 3. Once the update has been installed, I'm informed that there is an upgrade for the Play TV 
which I can purchase from the PlayStation Store. It's worth noting that that upgrade that I can purchase from the PlayStation Store is not vital to the playback, recording or pausing of television programs on my Play TV.